East Coast. As officials grow more concerned about the flow of fentanyl into the United States, one Republican group says border agents have confiscated more of the drug in two months than they did in all of 2019. Paul Spay checks that claim now for PolitiFact. Just how much fentanyl is being seized at the border? Fentanyl is a synthetic opioid that's dangerous because it's highly potent and it's hard to trace. And the West Virginia Republican Party tweeted, more fentanyl has crossed the border in the last two months under Joe Biden than in all of 2019 under President Trump. Now, is that right? Let's take a look at the numbers from the U.S. Customs and Border Protection Agency. Overall, the amount of drugs seized at the border has actually fallen in recent years. This chart shows the weight of all drugs found since 2019, and you can see it's decreased there. But at the same time, the amount of fentanyl seized has gone up, as you can see in this chart. Federal agents seized 4,500 pounds of fentanyl just in July and August, which was more than the 2,800 pounds seized in all of 2019. So the numbers in that tweet are accurate. As for the suggestion that Biden's policies are somehow causing this increase, that's harder to prove. Are smuggling attempts going up or are border agents just doing a better job of finding these drugs? Experts say it's almost impossible to know what's behind the increase because drug smugglers are constantly changing their tactics. All around though, the truth of me rates that tweet, mostly true. Read our full fact check at WRL.com.